Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to continue our series on the lives of the saints. And on this, the 18th of April, we celebrate the memory of the venerable Athanasia, the wonder worker. Saint Athanasia was probably born in the 9th century on the island of Aegina. As a child, she was distinguished by her virtue and desire to consecrate her life to God but her parents forced her to marry. Sixteen days after the wedding, the barbarians came to the island and murdered her husband, who was in the fields. The saint thought that she would be able to seize the opportunity to become a nun, but an imperial edict was published, ordering all the young women and widows to marry pagans. She submitted to the providence and contracted a second marriage. But the example of her virtue had such an influence on her husband that he decided to become a monk. He died shortly after entering the monastery, and the saint, giving away her whole fortune, was at last able to take the veil along with a great number of women from the island who were influenced by her. Athanasia lived a life of severe ascesis. She scarcely took more than bread and water, and during the great fast, only a few vegetables every two days. At the end of four years, she was elected abbess. She showed such humility that nothing distinguished her from the other sisters. The love of God grew in her heart, and after being abbess for four years, Athanasia withdrew with some disciples to lead a hesychastic life under the direction of a holy ascetic named Matthew. At his death, she went to Constantinople, where she lived seven years in a monastery, always keeping, however, a nostalgia for the hermitage that she had abandoned. After having received a vision, a command to return to the hermitage, she spent the last days of her earthly life there, teaching her disciples the principles of the life of virtue. On the day of her death that God had already made known to her, she designated her successor, and beginning the customary recitation of the Psalms with the other sisters, she gave her souls into God's hands during the singing of the Kathisma. Healing took place during her funeral, and afterwards many blind people recovered their sight at her tomb. Two days later, two nuns saw the saint in glory before the holy doors, clothed in imperial garments. By the prayers of the venerable Athanasia, the wonder worker, may the Lord God have mercy on us and save us. God bless you. We're here for you. We love you dearly. Don't hesitate to reach out. Call us, email us, leave a message on social media. Leave us a note in the comment section. If you'd like to support this ministry, remember to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on social media. Again, God bless you and have a beautiful rest of your day.